our universe, not actual size. How many of you have heard the analogy of the expanding universe like a balloon? It's not the best analogy. Your book uses a, a loaf of bread rising in the oven as you, as you cook it. But when you start talking about the universe, you run out of really good ways to describe it. So when you go through the remaining few weeks, every once in a while, the book or one of my lectures is going to be talking about picture the universe like this. And you're going to go, but what about this? And I'll have to say, well, the analogy is not perfect. Like this does not perfectly represent our universe because only the surface of the balloon would actually represent the universe. This would be the space-time fabric of the universe. But it's not four-dimensional. It's a two-dimensional surface. So again, you're going to have to be patient with us scientists because as we try to explain things in ways that average people can understand, we kind of get out of our element and it can be really hard. So this week, in week 13, we're going to be moving outward from the stars to galaxies. First, we're going to be starting with the Milky Way galaxy, our galaxy. And we're going to be learning about the various parts of our galaxy, how we measure the galaxy, where we are in the galaxy, and a little bit about the history of the galaxy. Then we're going to be talking about other galaxies. Uh, what are the various types of galaxies that there are? And then we're going to be talking about the motion of the galaxies away from each other, how they're carried away from each other due to the expansion of the universe. So if you imagine galaxies as being dots painted on this balloon, as the universe expands, it carries the galaxies, it carries the dots with them. So the question is going to be, if the universe is expanding now, is it going to expand forever? Or is the universe going to run out of air? So as you go through week 13, there's going to be a lot of really philosophical sort of big questions. And again, it's going to be very hard for you to picture some of these vast distances and vast scales that we're going to be talking about. But please do your best. And please look at all the pictures in the book and all the analogies and make sure that you go through all the helpful links that I provide that are related to this, to this lecture. Okay? And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And again, keep an eye out for the name Hubble. Edwin Hubble is going to be popping up all over the place in this week's lecture.